1075 WGCI, the size number one for hip hop and RB. We are the WGCI morning show. Leon Rogers, Kendra G, myself, yeah. Kyle. We're in the building right now with a couple of guys, man, have big things happening. We're going to start with Chicago's own. Can we start there? Brand new, brand new, <laughs> brand new, oh, brand new. He's a friend to the show. He's up here all the time, man. Chicago, Ryan Fest is in the Yo, building. Wait, wait. We have to add Oscar Award winner yes, and Grammy yeah, yeah, winner yeah, when yeah, you yeah, introduce yeah, Ryan yeah, Fest. Yeah, yeah, That's right, right now. Keep now, on. Fest is here. Fest, Fest is brought somebody with him who is pretty much legendary Kyle. when it comes to film. Somebody's been a huge influence on us growing up. One of up. the greatest hockey coaches ever. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Emilio Estevez. Yeah. Is here. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? Good, good, good. Pleasure to be here. Make sure we Thank got you. you right here. Okay, right yes, on. Yes, sir. All right, so you guys are here together. You guys have a new film coming out called mm. The Public. Yes. All right. Um, you know, it looks like it's going to be very interesting. It looks like a social piece for it's the a, most part. It's a social comedy. Yes. There's a lot of laughs in this film. It's a very entertaining movie. Movie, and I think that kind of takes people by surprise. Yeah. You know, we're dealing with things like the library. We're dealing with homelessness issues and mental illness issues. And you don't necessarily think about those three things being too funny. Right. And yet the movie is very funny. For the people that have not seen it, because it hasn't come out yet, but the movie, basically, without giving it all away, um, there are people that feel like they're homeless and they feel like it's too cold to be out in the street. Right. We're staying at the library. We don't care That's what right. y'all say. We're staying in this we're library gonna overnight. Right. We're going to occupy the library and the police are trying to kick them out. Right. The police spin it. Uh, the politicians spin it. It, the media spins it. I yeah. mean, everybody gets involved and they start telling a story that's actually not what's happening inside. Mm -hmm. So imagine that. The news getting it wrong. <laughs> yeah, right? What? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they never get it wrong. Ron, first, right. I, I wanna, and I want to piggyback enough uh, Emilio said, like, you've been an activist in the city for a while, so how close to home did this hit? Like, a lot of the situations you've been in and been out, actually out here championing, how how close did that hit to home for you? Well, that, that's actually how I got in the film, right? Okay. So, you know, and I, and I tell people, just do authentic things and, and good things will come back to you. You know, I did a documentary called In My Father's House where mm -hmm. my father was homeless for 30 years, and I got my, I helped get my father off the street his mom, Emilio's mom, saw the documentary and said, hey, my son is doing a film about this, called Emilio and said, you should cast this guy in your movie. Wow. So right. Emilio hit me up on Facebook like, yo, my mom, my family saw your, what you're doing in Chicago. I want you to be in this wow. film. Right. And it opened up a whole new relationship. And, and I didn't go get my, my father off the street because I was trying to do something else. I think a lot of times we chasing stuff when really we should be building our family. And the more you work toward building your family, the more personal things will work for you. Mm, I love that. That's, that's right. powerful. That's right. The most powerful thing is it hit you up on Facebook and you're going to get yeah. a role in a movie, I said. <laughs> yeah, right. no, and, you know, and I asked him, I said, Che, I said, have you ever acted? He says, man, I've been acting my whole life. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right. But you know what, like, like Kyle said, it's legendary to have you actually in the studio with us. We've been watching you all of our lives from so many movies. What is your secret to staying in Hollywood and lasting as long as you have? Because not everybody gets to have a long career like no, you in Hollywood. No, indeed. I, you know, I credit my parents uh, for, for that. I credit them because, first of all, they're still together. You know, they're both from Ohio. My mom's from Cincy. My dad's from Dayton. They met in New York. They've been together for 58 years. And, and for, for me, they've been sort of this North Star. They, they're, they're who I look to. And, and my dad always said, you know, it's about, the, it's about the marathon, it's not about a sprint. And I think by getting involved behind the camera as well, that sort of broadened my career. And it has allowed me to to have a, a, some longevity, which is, uh, as you said, very rare. Very rare, yeah. yes. Because in this film, you're not just starring in it, but you wrote the movie and directed the, That's the, right. the movie That's The right. Public as Been well. Been working on it for 12 years. Wow. 12 this years? Wow. Been 12 years. It started in 2007. Why does it take so long for, to start something well, and to bring it you know, all the Again, the, the, this sort of movie doesn't necessarily push the, uh, the blockbuster button, <laughs> as they say. Right. And yet, I knew that if I got it made, uh, that that it, w it would tell a story that needed to be told, that that it, ha it has an authenticity, mm -hmm. and I knew that I could bring some great actors to the table and come play in our sandbox. And man, we have an amazing cast. Starting the cast Jay. is crazy. We've got Alec Baldwin, we got yep. Taylor Schilling, we got Gab Union, yep. we've got uh, Jeffrey Wright and yep. Michael K. Williams, yeah. Christian Slater, and, and you got Slater. Gabriel Union. Gab's in it. Gab yeah. kills it. She plays um, a, a reporter, an on-camera reporter, and she just she does it right. You know how this is very timely for us here in Chicago because I know you guys are traveling a lot, mm -hmm. but we literally just had the winter vortex That's come right. through. And That's it was right. like negative 30 degrees. Somebody got beat up in the winter vortex. 
Yeah, no, that, <laughs> hey, I'm wait, listen, that. Right. 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 But look, <laughs> Be but this quiet, movie is about Ryan keeping fast. the homeless off the street. And we had That's a young right. lady here who spent her own yeah. hard work and money and and basically forced homeless people off the street and That's put right. them up in a hotel for like a week. Mm -hmm. And she it made the national news. Yeah. Everybody was talking about it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So you know yeah. about the story. Oh yeah. So it's a very timely movie that this will come out right after something like that just took place. That's right. No, it's it, 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 the movie is so relevant right now. And again, we talk about the length of time that it took to make this 12 years. Had we made it 10 years ago, I don't think we'd be talking about it in the same way we are now. Yeah. And, and you know, God has a plan. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes you just it, it takes the rest of us a while to catch up to that. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. Sidetrack real quick, because I always cor correlate everything to sports. You know me. Yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah, so, yeah. so I want to ask both of you all as athletes in your perspective genres, because I do look at actors as athletes. And you rhyme, guys, because mm -hmm. you're only as good as your last game, right. album, movie. Right, that's right. Is there any game, album, or movie that you wish you could – Trade in, you hated that night or that game, or is there any game that you love? Like you, you put this one, like Jordan hitting the shot against Utah, but then Jordan hate nine for twenty three against Cleveland, and they got put out the playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> what are those movies for you, or, 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 or songs for y'all? Well, you know, for this for this particular film, the public, uh, I did a song. I did three three songs for the film. But one of them is with me, Black Thought, Raheem Ooh. Devon, and David Banner did the beat. Ooh, you know what I'm saying? So, so, so the no, end credit so is like yeah. it's like the Bulls '95. Bananas. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like, that's so it's like Ryan Fest, uh, Black Thought, like and, 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 and beats by and David Banner. Beat by David Banner, Raheem Devon got the chorus. It's crazy. And that's that and and so that was one of the I'm great things on about one. the film is that Emilio also let me do uh the, some of the music. That's dope. Nice. That's dope. Let yeah. you do it. Yeah. I begged you I, to do it. Yeah, 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 I begged yeah, you. I yeah, said, yeah. look, I think we're gonna do a, a version of I Can See Clearly now. Like, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, we did a bunch so we of got that going. It was dope. Right. So what about you? Well, you know, listen, as an artist, we're going to have things on our resume that we're not proud of. <laughs> uh, I've got quite a few. I've done a lot of crap. Okay. Uh, if I could go back and... So, for instance, I did a movie called uh, Maximum Overdrive with Stephen King. I remember that. With the uh, truck show? Yeah, I love it. Yeah, 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 I can't yeah, 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 no, no, so, face yeah, on yeah, the no, 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 <laughs> so, well, so here's the thing it's the only movie that Stephen King ever directed so uh, so my mom was just like she's like Emilio why'd you do that movie <laughs> and I said I wanted to work with Stephen King and she says well can you help him paint his house <laughs> next time like next time me too I did too that's like no 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 that's like LeBron on the Lakers that's hilarious speaking of past movies now um, Ryan who's our um, social well our producer he's so young he wasn't even alive 34 years ago you had the movie The Breakfast Club that's right we shot I, it here yes and yes. I, I always wanted I know there's a radio show called The Breakfast Club mm, now too. Mm. Have you ever cussed them out and said y'all took our name like we were the first Breakfast Club? No, I, I mean I don't. I, I was just an actor in the film, so it's like the studio would have to come down. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. That's just copyright, <laughs> <for> right? Because <laughs> I feel like now, like obviously I know the movie, but there's like the young, the younger generation like him. He don't even remember the first movie, The Breakfast Club, where they got sure. the name from. Sure, that's right. Yeah. Oh, uh, we got to yeah, put them on all your word. We got to put them on Breakfast Club. You got to watch both young guys. Not Maximum Overdrive. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got to put them on the Young Guns. Both we got to put them on Outsiders. Yep, Outsiders. If you could make a sequel to any of your movies, which movie would you do a sequel to? The Breakfast Club would be a good sequel. Uh, yeah, it, it would. I I think that there's still a story with Young Guns. Okay. Because there's a lot of talk movie, about man. like Make they didn't famous. he didn't get killed. Right. Uh, the the Billy the Kid went on and lived yeah. as this other guy. So I think there could be a story there where he's living out like in 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 old Mexico and people are still coming at him. Yeah. I'm right. sorry, I'm saying, bro. I love right? I'm sorry, bro, right. but I see it. They right. Thought it was over. Maximum overdrive. No! <laughs> the trucks are no, bad. No, <laughs> and no, only no, one no, man no, can stop no, them. No, no, no. <laughs> 
Man, if I had known this was the kind of torture I was going to do, I'd have just said, keep driving. <laughs> All right, well, look, let's bring it back, man. It's coming down. The movie's going to be happening the public April 5th to hit theaters, correct? That's right, nationally April 5th. Starring Emilio Estevez, starring our brother Ryan Fest. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to ask you this, though, because this is your film debut yeah. on something on this level, and you were with some real heavy hitter mm, actors and dude. actresses in this movie. Mm. Did you ever have any nervous about you know making sure that you were up to that level? Hey, I'm going to tell you a secret. We were on the set. And we right before a scene started, uh, Omar, I mean Michael K. Yeah, Williams, Michael right, K. Right. <laughs> decided he wanted to argue with me on the set about well, I don't know what kind of stupid thing we was arguing about, but we got into it. And Emilio was like, "Excuse me, guys, can I have my character back?" And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like "He gonna get me fired." Like, and, 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 but but right after that, he's like, "Man, I was I was just messing with you, bro." And me and me and Michael became the best of friends. The way Gabriel, Michael, Alec Baldwin, all of those guys like embrace me and not only during the film but like even now like we we text each other call each other and keep up with each other yeah uh michael's getting ready to do a series in chicago man and, and me and him just be real tight so it's like it was a blessing all the way around hey cal i just want you to notice how we got stunted on real quick. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, yeah. Alec Baldwin and Gabriel, how yeah, we all man. text each other. Yeah, 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 we text Shame each other, man. Ready, man. Come on, man. <laughs> man when, hey, man, when Kanye wasn't my friend no more, I need to go find some more friends. <laughs> it is. You got to find some more friends, man. You, Ryan Fess, you better stop it. <laughs> you better stop it, Ryan Fess. And listen, I'll tell you this, though, bro. We, we're proud of you, man, because you've know, you been a friend of the show already, so you just add on to your resume. Hey, yo, catch me on the Kardashians, me and Kim had a real good talk. No it's doubt. Oh, oh, so you guys God. are all you guys have made up? Yeah, because for me, me and my man to get back together, you got to talk to the wife and be like, be, we cool? We <laughs> that's cool? kind of real, though. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. yeah that's you right. can't be friends with nobody if their wife, wife don't, don't like you. Like, right. Come on now. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. Right? All right, no yo, entry. The public, no April, entry. 5th, <laughs> April 5th. The public. April 5th, the yeah. public. The yeah. public. Right yo, Ron Fest, our brother, Emilio Estevez, great to meet you, man. February 2025, maximum over. Drive to 18 Wheels of Justice. That's it, yo. Make sure y'all go see the All right, fine. Let's write it. Let's, Let's do it. Back. I'm in. The hell with it. We're going. WGCI, thank y'all for coming thank on you. with us.